Hey guys, what is going on? So I just finished my first week of two times a day training. I'm doing katsu training paired with nucleus overload. So katsu is just when you do blood flow restriction with one of these, put it around your arms and your legs, and you're able to get a better pump and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna leave a link to these in the description. And then while I was doing it, um, you know, I noticed when I was doing my face pulls that my forearms were getting, you know, a massive pump and they were just looking a lot bigger than they normally are. Now, I've never thought to train forearms in the past. Um, however, I have done uh, fat grip training before, which is supposed to help with some of those muscles that maybe don't get as much work um, that helps stabilize a little bit more. And I figured, you know, let me start implementing my fat grip training, which um, I was really fond of before, but I kind of stopped doing it because I was focusing more on doing heavier weights and that's kind of not super safe to do it. So um, I figured, you know, starting today is when I kind of had that epiphany of let me try and do the fat grip training as well as katsu training. So I'm throwing these fat grips on the bar and uh, when I'm doing like my curls and stuff like that, you know, hopefully getting a little bit more forearm activity and hopefully that should help with like my bench press and stuff of having, you know, those muscles um, working in terms of gripping the bar and everything like that. Um, because I definitely noticed that that's one of my weak points in my bench press and, you know, hopefully just is going to help with my arms in general. So I thought I'd just throw that in there. Um, again, I just started it. So I just finished my two, um, or my second workout of the day, um, like five minutes ago. So I just finished my 14th workout of the week basically. And, uh, this was, so that would have been, you know, 13 workouts, not trying that. And then this is my 14th workout, trying it with these. So, um, again, I'm going to leave these in the description as well. Um, both of those are like the cheapest things you can really get on Amazon, at least when I bought them. So, um, you know, they definitely seem to be working good. A lot of people, you know, want to know, oh, they want to get the cheapest thing. And they're like, is this adequate? And, uh, in my experience with both of them, they've both held up very well. I've used both of them quite a bit. Katsu one, I haven't, you know, had as much time, but I've been using it pretty much every day since I got it. And the fat grips I've been using for many months now. So, um, yeah, I'm, I really like both of them. And as far as the training goes and recovery, um, I basically just been eating a lot, you know, not doing a lot of <laughs> any type of activity other than that. So my recovery has actually been pretty good. Um, I've been trying to sleep as much as possible. And, you know, I had a couple days there where my shoulders were kind of getting tired, um, which is kind of weird because they weren't like my rear delt. So like I said, I was doing face pulls. That's a little bit more rear delt action, but it's kind of like my side delt on my left side, but that actually went away. And other than that, I've just been feeling actually amazing. Like I feel very fresh. Um, I feel like I'm actually kind of getting stronger throughout this, which is kind of weird. But as far as like the structure of the, you know, training for me, I try and get some carbs in my system before I do my first workout of the day. So ideally I just wake up in the morning, start my training. But again, I want to have a little bit more of a pump. The whole point of this whole process is kind of getting the maximum pump for this katsu training. So I want to be, you know, I want to have my sodium and, and potassium and water and, and everything going, you know, carbs as well. Um, before my workout, I don't just want to wake up and get right into it. So I try and, you know, do my workout a little bit later in the day in the afternoon. And then as far as my later workout, you know, I've heard recommendations of you should kind of space your workouts four hours apart. And so I try and do, you know, at least that, but it generally ends up, I think right now it's like midnight. So I just did my training. Um, and I'd much rather do, you know, do it closer to like nine or 10 o'clock or something like that. So it's not as late for me. I generally go to bed around two in the morning ish. So, um, I don't want to do it right before bed, but that just kind of ends up being how it is. So it's kind of harder to structure than you might think, even though I don't have a job right now, I literally have no obligations. I don't go anywhere because of the pandemic, but it is actually kind of hard to schedule. So my recommendation would just be, yeah, try and do it in the morning, but make sure that you get, you know, hydrated and everything like that and get carved up before if you're going to do it. And then, you know, when you do it at night, for me, I think it's, you know, when I was working, going to work, I would just hit the gym after work. And that would be, you know, that would leave adequate time for me to kind of do my nightly routine and everything like that. So I think once I get into the groove of things, um, it would be a little bit easier. And I think I could do it while I'm still going to work, doing two training sessions a day. Um, but as of right now, it's just an adjustment for sure. I definitely have never had to do that. Um, it's not that I've never worked out twice in a day before, but I've never done it consistently. So, um, but other than that, I mean, I really love it. The workouts are maybe 35 minutes, 45 minutes, somewhere in that range. Um, I try and cut it down, but I'm so used to resting long in between sets. 
So what I do is, you know, in between sets of an individual exercise, I only rest like 10, 20 seconds or something like that. But then in between my actual exercises, so let's say I do, you know, biceps and then I go to triceps, I'll give myself a little, little bit of a break. And sometimes I'll go on my phone for a little bit too long. And so that'll extend the workout. But I think you could knock one of these out in probably 30 minutes if you were really ambitious about it, not looking at your phone or anything like that. And you could even consider that a little bit of a cardio as well. But um, it's pretty tough. You know, I haven't been training like this for very long, but that kind of transition of the month period that I had of doing nucleus overload, I think definitely um, prepared me a little bit. So it is a different style of training, but I'm getting used to it, I think. And, you know, I feel like I'm getting good pumps. I feel like uh, it's getting easier and easier and I'm enjoying it a lot. So um, I want to continue doing this. My plan is to do this for two more weeks and then take, you know, a week rest and see where I'm at with that. But as far as, uh, you know, measurements, I probably should have measured my forearms prior to all this, but I think my forearms are probably going to be one, you know, that's going to get a big increase. But other than that, um, I just have my measurements from, you know, my arms. That's the only thing that I've really measured. Um, and as far as my strength, I kind of talked about this in a previous video, but my strength went down after doing that month and then giving myself like a week off. Um, so it doesn't seem like this is great for strength training, but it does feel like my endurance is getting up. So um, my goal is to just gain muscle size right now and focus on strength later. But I'm going to try and do, you know, a couple of rounds of this, see how many of these I can do, how long this quarantine lasts and stuff like that. And once I get back to the groove of things, maybe I'll start trying to do strength training again and see if I can hit some new maxes. But for the time being, I'm not really focused on strength too much at all. So yeah, um, that's, that's kind of been it. Um, again, good recovery. I, I have the opportunity to sleep as much as I want, pretty much eat as much as I want. So, um, there's no reason I shouldn't be able to gain some good size here. So, um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. I will keep you updated and I'll talk to you soon.